Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Vita, the rock star part of Super Obvious. In this video, we're going to talk about Becky Lynch, more specifically, a little bit before the Hell in a Cell pay per view, and of course, the events that happened at Hell in a Cell. Let's go. Now, one of the first things that I want to point out is the package video that we get when the Hell in a Cell pay per view starts at the very beginning. When they show the package video of all the different matches and all the build up for everything, the very first wrestlers they show is Charlotte and Becky. I thought that was cool. Now, I know I've already said this in my previous Becky Lynch video, but I'm still pretty amazed how over Becky Lynch is with the fans. Even though people are saying she's not a heel, she's basically doing heel stuff to Charlotte. She uh, jumped Charlotte after one of Charlotte's matches, and Becky Lynch just came out of nowhere wearing all black and super kicked her in the face like twice. There was another time when Charlotte was taking a selfie with fans outside, and Becky Lynch was disguised in all black again, and she beat up Charlotte again. It's really crazy, man. And what's also really cool is when they're being introduced in the ring before the match, Becky Lynch gets cheered again, pretty much does not get booed at all. Charlotte gets a noticeable amount of boos along with cheers, but it's pretty crazy, man. Once the match starts, it's a very technical match, aka it's kind of slow. They're both on the ground, they're doing a bunch of rest holds. We have Becky Lynch working on the arm of Charlotte. We have Charlotte working on the leg of Becky Lynch. They're each trying to soften up each other's like body parts because they both have submission holds as their finishers. Becky has Charlotte in a hold on the ground, and you hear the crowd say, Let's go, Becky. And normally you would hear a response like, Let's go, Charlotte. Like, everyone's cheering for Becky. No one is like responding with chants for Charlotte. I'm telling you, man, this shit is crazy. Becky tries to do her bottom rope springboard kick that she does for the second time in the match. She hit Charlotte the first time, the second time. Charlotte reversed it and just boots Becky Lynch right in the face. It's one of my favorite moves that she does. Charlotte tries to follow it up with her uh, trademark top rope moonsault and misses and is not really quick getting up after that. <laughs> Becky tries to put Charlotte in a disarmor and it kind of turns into like a armbar and it turns into like a triangle chokehold. So what happens is Charlotte just Deadlift picks up Becky all the way off the ground and then just gives her a sit out power bomb. Splat! <laughs> the triangle is almost locked in. Becky trying to pass the Queen's arm. Oh my! The power of the Queen! Unbelievable! And after some of the back and forth, there is a spot where Becky Lynch puts Charlotte in like a reverse falling DDT, which I have never seen before, so I thought that was cool. Becky Lynch tries to do a top rope drop kick, and Charlotte catches her legs and puts her in a Boston Crab, which is another cool move, and we do not see Charlotte do that too often, so that's cool. And a little bit after that, this is one of the most interesting parts of the match. There is a part where Becky Lynch has Charlotte in the disarmor, and Charlotte is pretty close to the rope. She could probably grab the rope with her arm or put her foot on the bottom rope. Instead of doing that, Charlotte like slowly kind of just like slides out of the ring, keeping her arm in the hold way longer than it needed to be. I don't know why she did that. Charlotte Flair is a really smart wrestler. That really like threw me off. I think even the commentator said something like, you know, she was able to keep the hold on herself for like another like 10 seconds. The finish of the match is when Charlotte tries to spear Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch reverses it. When she first does that, it almost looks like she was going to reverse the spear into a armbar. But what Becky Lynch actually did was when Charlotte tried to spear Becky, Becky kind of trapped her arm a little bit, but also used Charlotte's own momentum against her. So Becky just rolled on top of Charlotte, hooked her leg, and pinned her for the three clamp, and she won the belt. Oh, and here from the Queen of Becky Lynch, turn around, turn around, Becky Lynch! Oh, I think it's cool how they did that. I think I talked about it on Raw, my Raw review from last week how wrestlers are winning matches without using their special, just using a surprise pin. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. So while Becky Lynch is in the ring and celebrating since she just won the belt, it shows Charlotte. She's sitting down, devastated, as expected. So eventually, Charlotte gets up and walks up to Becky Lynch and tries to like grab her hand, possibly to like raise her arm since she's the uh, champion now leaves her hanging she raises the belt like damn near right in her face and she's like you're not gonna take this moment from me when becky lynch gets out and starts walking away you actually do hear the fans boo 
I'm pretty sure that was for Becky Lynch, like, leaving her hanging. And then it shows Charlotte back into the ring, and that's the match. Becky Lynch is the new WWE SmackDown Women's Champion. Wow. My final thoughts on the match is that I think it was good. It was pretty good, pretty okay. It wasn't great. It was not fantastic. I'm old school, man. I'm, I'm just down to see someone just get booted right in the face more than once. <laughs> but Becky Lynch being the new champion, I think is really cool. There was six title matches, I believe, on the show for Hell in a Cell. I believe that was the only belt that changed hands, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think Becky Lynch winning the belt was the only championship that changed hands. So with Becky Lynch, man, I mean, I said she's a heel in the video a couple weeks ago. She's definitely doing heel stuff. I actually read something online where I believe it was uh, Jim Ross who compared Becky Lynch to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Before you go all crazy, just hear me out for a second. <laughs> what they were saying was, because, you know, people are saying how she's a heel or she's a face and she's over. People are saying that she's a tweener, which is what Stone Cold Steve Austin was. Stone Cold Steve Austin would talk a whole bunch of shit on the microphone or do somebody dirty. And it got to a point where the fans liked it. And that's what's going on with Becky Lynch. Anytime Becky Lynch is beating up Charlotte, the fans are cheering. Anytime Charlotte is like hit from behind by Becky Lynch, the fans are cheering. Uh, Becky Lynch will be on the microphone talking shit about Charlotte. The fans are cheering it. And anytime Charlotte is kind of winning over Becky, she's getting booed. So it, it's, it seems like Becky Lynch is a tweener. If you look it up, uh, there's been a lot of wrestlers that have been tweeners. Basically, they're bad guys, and they do kind of bad things, but they get cheered from the crowd. So it almost makes it seem like they're good guys. It's but yeah, anyways, man, this is just a quick video. I wanted to talk about Becky Lynch and what's been going on and her being the new WWE SmackDown champion. If Becky Lynch would have done all this and then lost, her momentum would have been crap. <laughs> But yeah, guys, it's a quick video about Becky Lynch. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, and be on the lookout for new content.